Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Nerd Sanctuary. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the safety of your nerddom. And remember, please hit that like button and subscribe. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the blue cards of the 2021 core set review here with uh, Night Zion. I also have Jaysma here with me to help me with the constructed portion. We will be talking about limited and constructed. Um, hopefully this will help you out at your pre-release or any drafts and any exciting decks you may or may not want to build. So we're just going to jump right into it here with Baron Talarian Archmage. Costs one colorless and two blue. Gets you a legendary creature, human wizard. It's a rare. It's a 2-2. Two -two. When it enters the battlefield, return up to one other target creature or planeswalker to its owner's hand. At the beginning of your end step, if a permanent was put into your hand from the battlefield this turn, draw a card. So, at its base, this is a Man of War. Yeah. It's a little bit more strictly costed, just a tad bit, but Man of War has always been good and limited. And uh, this card's awesome. I love this card. Um, it's really good in or it's fine and limited, but in constructed, I think this is gonna be fun. Yeah. Um, is this a planeswalker card? No. Oh wow. Yeah, no, this isn't limited. Um, it really feels like a uh, commander card. I don't know if it's like your commander, but it does seem pretty fun to me. Yeah, it seems great. Yeah. Uh, yeah, definitely take this in uh, limited. I don't think it's necessarily pack one pick oneable, but I think this card is very good. Um, worst case scenario, you can reset something that has like been pacified or something like that on your side, and you get to draw a card or bounce your pacifism. Yeah, or bounce your pacifism creature. Yeah, that's even better. Um, or yeah, bounce their thing. I think it's really good. I don't think I would run it out on turn three, but um, card's cool. Yeah, and this is like the temple stuff that we were talking about that you can, that uh, Blue Green's doing. Yep. Um, which we talked about in the white set review can work pretty well in the white deck. Yep. Yep. So, yeah, cool. This card's great. Cancel Colorless Blue Blue for a instant counter target spell. Yep. It's a cancel. It's a cancel. Typically, this is not very good in draft. Um, could be wrong. Counterspells have been better lately because of the power level of the cards. Um, you know, like two years ago, it would have been like, you never play cancel in draft. But I've played a lot of counterspells recently. Um, in limited, in draft. Um, in sealed, this is fine. Yeah. I would play um, this in sealed. And definitely, if your opponent opens some bomb... That you can't answer, cancel will typically answer that. Yep, bring it in. I guess if you get one late. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll have to see for the limited environment. Uh, this is not going to see constructed play. No, there are uh, too many good counter spells right now. Despite that fantastic art. Yeah, pretty cool. I also like the flavor text. <laughs> Capture sphere, three colors and a blue enchantment aura. It's a common. It has flash. Enchant creature. When it is the battlefield, tap enchanted creature. Enchanted creature doesn't untap during its controller's untap step. We just had this in Ikoria. We've had it a million times. Card's fine. Yeah. Situational removal. It's fine. Yeah. The art. The this art, art is better. so much better. Yes, it sure is. It's yeah, I mean, really cool. Well, it, he's in the process of going into the Pokeball. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, this card's fine. Limited. Won't see constructed play. Um. I have pack one picked one of these, but I'm not happy about it. Yeah. Discontinuity. Ooh. Three blue, blue, blue. Instant. As long as it's your turn, the spell costs two blue, blue less to cast. End the turn. Someone's going to break this card. Yeah. Oh, uh, fine and limited, weirdly. Yeah. Just time walking your opponent. Oh, yeah. That's fine. I mean, you can also just use it to stop a removal spell or something like that, too. It's just a counter spell that can cut their entire turn off. It's yeah. fine. Um, it's probably going to be worth a couple of bucks too, so it's okay to take in draft. I, 
would I pack one quick on it? Probably. I don't know. It definitely at the beginning of the format. I'm going to see what it plays like. But uh, very good in uh, sealed. Yeah. And yeah. someone's going to break this card in constructed. Yeah. And just remember, you can uh, absolutely uh, just cast it in their in their upkeep for six mana. They don't get a draw step. They still get a untap, but. Nine lives? Uh, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, you could stop the trigger for nine lives if you want to time walk yourself, I guess. I, I don't know. Um, stops Uro trigger. So. Yeah. So, yeah, you can cast Uro for three mana, get your trigger, then put this on the stack. Yeah. It's not bad. Second main phase, maybe, after you attack. It's fine. Um, there's definitely ways to break this in Commander and other formats. Oh, yeah. So, this is going to see a lot of constructive play. I don't know if it'll see something like modern play, but you never know. You really, you really never know. <laughs> With a card like this, it has a lot of hidden potential. Yep. Enthralling hold, three colorless, blue, blue. It's an aura. Enchant creature. It's an uncommon. Enchant creature. You can't choose an untapped creature as this spell spells target as you cast it you control enchanted creature okay the wording on this is really weird but basically control or take your opponent's tapped creature yeah sorcery speed curse fine and limited yeah and it has to be worded that way because if it was just enchant target uh enchant tapped creature then as soon as it untaps the enchantment would fall off yep um Yeah, this card's fine in, in, in limited. It's very good in sealed, I would imagine. Oh, yeah. Um, probably not going to see constructed play. I don't know. What do you think? I, I don't see it Yeah. constructed. Depends. I mean, it's really hard to say with all these really overpowered creatures we're getting, but, uh, yeah, I don't I don't think so. Um, yeah, I would definitely pack one pick one this in limited, though. In, in draft, seems good to me. Frantic Inventory, colorless blue for an instant, draw a card, then draw cards equal to the number of cards named Frantic Inventory in your graveyard. Hey, AK's back. Yay. Um, so yeah, hearkening back to Accumulated Knowledge, um, this is I guess a fixed version, so that the mirror matches aren't absolutely absurd. Um, obviously this is going to see an absolute ton of constructed play. Yes. Uh, um, I mean, this is the first version of this in Modern that we get, right? Yep. Because we didn't have AK in Modern. Um, I mean, AK sees... Vintage. Vintage and Legacy play, so I imagine we're going to see this in Modern. Yeah, my uh, last round opponent last night was uh, playing an AK deck in Vintage, which is why I won. No. <laughs> but... Didn't say it was good. Yeah. It is going to see play. Uh, I absolutely love to hate the, the AK mirrors in Popper, and luckily this does away with the frustrating part of that. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, you, definitely. First one draws one, second one draws two, third one draws three, fourth one, you're winning. Yeah. Definitely going to see standard play. Absolutely. 100%. I'm already I, I'm already making a bunch of lists for um, future videos on YouTube, and this is in several of the decks I'm already, I'm already uh, building. Yep. So, and yeah. I'm pretty sure you know who I'm talking about here. One of our friends that plays a lot of blue, white, and modern is probably gonna pre-order four foils of this yeah i mean the art's pretty cool yeah um for limited though it's interesting i certainly wouldn't play one of these no um you have to have like three or four to make this worth it in my uh, opinion two is fine i don't think i would play two it depends there is a spell synergy deck yeah so in blue and red right um Oh man, I don't know. If you if you get like four or five of these in limited though, you were, you were just doing it. There's also the green blue draw cards deck. Yeah. So maybe you play one of these. I don't know. Uh yes, yes it would depending on the format. Yeah, it's a great question, Jess. Um. Yeah, I think Modern Storm would probably play this. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, this is definitely going to see a lot of play. I'm pretty excited about it. Anyway, moving on. Frost Breath. Two colorless and a blue. It's an instant. It's a common. Tap up to two target creatures. Those creatures don't untap during their controllers. Next untap step. This is exactly what I was talking about. 
for the tempo of the blue white deck of the green blue deck of really any blue deck notably this is obviously a reprint from way way before i believe that is frost titan in the art weird um yeah this is i'm not going to take this high at all but it's pretty good in the spells deck it's pretty good in any tempo deck it's pretty good in the blue white flyers deck even um just to buy you time as a tempo card so yeah this card's gonna it's it's pretty good for yeah. for limited no constructive play though yep definitely frost titan same axe same horns same artist cool i agree Ghostly Pilfer, color center blue for a 2-1 Spirit Rogue. It's a rare. When Ghostly Pilfer becomes untapped, you may pay two. If you do, draw a card. Whenever opponent casts a spell from anywhere other than their hand, draw a card. Discard a card. Ghostly Pilfer can't be blocked this turn. Well, that's a really complicated way to say looter in draft. Yep. Um, yeah, I'm going to play this card. I doubt I'll pack one, pick one. It. <laughs> I mean, I will in the beginning of the format, but I don't know. I, I think I would probably take any good removal over this eventually but yeah card's good uh i'm gonna i'm definitely gonna be playing this in constructed oddly enough uh specifically the golos mirror in commander Ah, uh, gross yeah this card's pretty good in in uh commander dredge will love pilferer yep it's gonna be a nambo with the white dude that stops opponents from casting things anywhere from their hand or anywhere except their hand but Yep. All good points. So yes, constructed, yes, limited, good card. It's a rare, so we hope those that happens. Yep. Historian of gosh, Zalfir? Zalfir? I don't know. I think Zalfir. Two colors, blue blue. Get to an uncommon human wizard. It's a three three. When it attacks, if you control it to fairy planeswalker, draw a card. Uh this is indeed a um planeswalker deck card so no limited play yeah, be very confused if you see this in a pack in a draft and call a judge weirdly this one might see like some brawl or some oh yeah um play in constructed i can see if teferi is your um your brawl commander guy i would play this oh yeah i mean as a three three he is ready to brawl no <laughs> yeah it's an interesting card but yeah no limited whatsoever because it can't Jeskai Elder, colorless in a blue for a human monk with prowess. It's a one-two. It's an uncommon. <laughs> that art is just sweet. That is a ninja granny. That's awesome. Um, I'm super happy to see prowess back. I love it in constructed. I am a big fan of it. It's not necessarily good, but I mean the red ones usually are. But uh, yeah, this card was fine the first time around, and it's fine now uh, you, for limited. Do you wanna you wanna see a monastery mentor reprint? Uh, the back squatch wants a Swiss spear reprint. Swiss spear is sweet. Oh man, I love Swiss spear, especially when you opened it in draft. It was worth like five bucks. Oh yeah, <laughs> it was awesome. Yeah, uh, monastery re uh, monastery Swiss spear in standard it didn't do anything the first time, so I don't know. I don't care. Yeah. Um, this might see some constructive play. Yeah, Monastery Mentor is... Or not Monastery. Uh, Swiss Spear. Yeah, the one you said. Swiss Spear is the one red mana with haste and blah, 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 blah. The good one. Yeah, this card's cool and limited. It's not amazing, but it... Wait, is it upshifted? I thought this was a common. Uh, it might be. Huh. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, this card's fine. Keen Glide Master. One colorless and a blue. Gets you a human soldier. It's a common. It's a 2-1. Two, two colorless and a blue. Activated ability. Target creature gains flying until end of turn. I suppose if in your limited fly, a blue-white flyers deck, you don't have enough flying, but you do have the payoffs, this might be worth it. Other than that, it's a 2-1 for 2, which is fine. Uh, I'm going to love this in blue-green to give my big green dudes evasion. Yeah, that definitely seems like where this is going to end up in limited. Uh, also, the Jeskai Elder wasn't uncommon. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I really feel like this doesn't fit in the Blue White Flyers deck, but, you know, it is what it is. I think uh, 
you can end up with a couple of these even if you're in blue white. Um, just as a two two for two or yeah. two one for two. Uh, also, uh, to reference the flavor text here, I'm sorry if somebody with dreads is yelling at me to jump out of a perfectly good airplane. I'm not doing it. <laughs> uh, no constructive, right? No. Yeah. There's already a yeah. No. Yeah, there's better ways to have this effect. Yeah. Library Larcenist, two and a blue for a Merfolk Rogue, one, two. When it, whenever it attacks, draw a card, and it's common. Yeah, uh, that's expensive. Yeah, I would, I would much prefer this at, like, two mana. Or a two, one. Yeah. I really feel like this is just going to replace itself, except you've spent three mana to do it. Yeah, oddly enough, I would actually prefer this at two power or zero power. Or unblockable. Yeah. Zero power unblockable. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not playing this card, most likely. Um, even if I have the previous card to give it flying, I just... Now, out, outside of very specific blue-green decks, I might play it in limited in a very tempo-y blue-green deck, because it can just keep the gas flowing, but... Me. Three mana? Yeah. Ugh. I don't know. I don't like it. Lofty Denial. One colorless and a blue. It's an instant. It's a common. Counter target spell. Unless it's controller, pays one. Wait, there's more. If you control a creature with flying, counter that spell. Unless it's controller, pays four instead. Uh, this constructed. I'm gonna. I'm gonna love playing this. Oh yeah, this card is gonna see a lot of play. It's very good in the blue white flyers and limited deck. So, I, I know you know this about me. I used to have a lot of fun with Rug Delver in Standard. Mm -hmm. uh, and just going turn one Delver and then holding out Mana Leak the rest of the game was fantastic. And I would have played this over Mana Leak all day. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Um, this card is... Ugh, it's very good. I'm going to play it in Limited. Um, you pretty much want it in the Blue-White Flyers deck, but... Um, if I have a, some number of flyers in one of those other decks, like the blue-green tempo deck, you're going to have flyers, right? Um, I might even play it there. I'm definitely going to take it in the middle of the pack, just as a sideboard card, too. Like, I mean, this card is pretty good. Yeah. Um, definitely going to see a lot of constructed play. And nobody plays around mana tithe. Yeah. Miscast. One blue. It's an instant. It's an uncommon. Counter target instant or sorcery spell. Unless the controller pays three. Seems fine. Kind of a narrow spell pierce. Yeah. Doesn't hit planeswalkers, importantly, in standard right now. Or artifacts or enchantments. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to be excited about this in limited or constructed, but I could certainly see constructed environments where this is great. Yeah. Might be sideboard play or something. I'm not playing it in limited. Um, might might board it in, but I doubt it. Um, I just wish this was spell pierce. Yep. Yeah, it's pretty good against gross spiral, but I'd rather them just resolve their gross spiral and then I have a rel relative or a relevant magic card in my hand. Yeah, I'm not gonna counter the gross spiral. I'm gonna counter the threats against those decks because the ramp decks tend to be lighter on threats. Yeah. And I'm not boarding this in against a Gross Spiral deck unless it's um, Wilderness Reclamation. Yeah, and even then, even then, to play around this. Yeah. And if you're playing against Wilderness Rec, you're not going to be wanting to board in Miscast. You're going to be wanting to board in the one that counters blue spells. Yeah, mythic, mi mystic dispute, myst mystical dispute. Mystical dispute. There we go. Uh, no, so I play a lot of Teamer Rec, and I almost never tap out to cast. Um, my expansion explosion. Ever, I always have a lot of mana left over. Um, usually with counterspell backup. Yep. At least a mystical dispute. Because that deck main decks three mystical disputes. Yeah. At least my version does. And other counterspell. Mistral Singer. Two and a blue for a siren. It's a two-two flying prowess. It's a common. I mean, we've seen it. Yep, that's fine. Yeah, blue white uh, flyer definitely goes up the more non-creature spells you have. Uh, Mystic skyfish, two colors and a blue. Gets you a three-one and blue. That's weird. 
Uh, it's a fish. Whenever you draw your second card each turn, this thing gains flying. And it is a uh, Planeswalker deck card, so no limited play. Thank God. And very, very doubtful about its propositions in Constructed, unless somebody really likes that art. Maybe Brawl, but I doubt it. I wouldn't play it. Uh, also, the um, flavor text on this is fantastic. <laughs> That's funny. Flying sharks. All right. Hey -o. opt. It's Ooh. opt. Yep. <laughs> Try one draw card. Play it everywhere. Yep. Really good in the spells deck. Already sees a lot of constructed play in every format. Well, not um, legacy or vintage, but you get my point. Uh, this sees a lot of play everywhere. It's good in draft. It's good in sealed. It's good. It's good. It's good. Yep. Moving on. Pursued whale. Five blue blue for a whale. Eight eight. When Pursued Whale enters the battlefield, each opponent creates a 1-1 red pirate creature token with this creature can't block, and creatures you control attack each combat if able. Spells your opponents cast a target Pursued Whale costs three more to cast. Buh. Yep. Yeah, that's a... That's a big boy. This is not the seven drop I want in draft. No. Uh... Y yeah. In sealed, you're gonna slam it. Oh yeah, it's real good in sealed, I guess. But uh, yeah, no, I'm not a big fan of this card. No, I mean, it is nice that it makes your opponent just suicide their dudes in. Because what are they gonna have that's gonna kill an eight eight other than a death touch thing? Yep. I mean, you just let the death. You don't have to block the death touch thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. If you can land this thing in limited, it's amazing. But that's very difficult to do. Yeah. And. Um, we all uh, often see seven, seven mana, blue threats in the control decks mm -hmm. um, for constructed and standard. Uh, this is not it. No. <laughs> Moby Dick seems cute for commander. Uh, go for it. I think I can do a little bit better with seven mana and commander. Um, yeah, I don't think this is going to see any constructed play, and I mean. I have a feeling I'm going to be playing a lot of this, in, playing against a lot of this in limited. Yep. And I shouldn't be. But, you know, that's fine. Reign of Re Revelation. Three colors and a blue. Gets you a hippie chick. It's instant. It's an uncommon. Draw three cards, then discard a card. Yeah, we saw this in Modern Horizons, I believe. I believe you. Um, yeah, don't do drugs. Yeah. Uh, this card's fine and limited. Um, act pretty good, actually. Yeah. Very good in the blue-red spells deck. And uh, I doubt it'll see constructed play, but it might. Uh, we have the uh, one that discards an enchantment to for three mana, so yep. whatever that one is. But yeah. Notably an instant. Uh, this will see play in, in standard uh, control decks, most likely. I doubt it, because they have the enchantment one, is what I was saying. Yeah, but... That one costs three mana. They still might play this one. Thirst for meaning. That's it. Thank you, Vexwatch. Um, they'll they'll play the enchantment one if they're playing a lot of enchantments, and they'll play rain if they're not. Like I could see a like a Grixis blue white playing the enchantment one, and then Grixis playing rain. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Um, probably gonna see brawl play at least. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, definitely play this in limited. Read the tides. Five and a blue sorcery. Choose one. Draw three cards, or return up to two target creatures to their owner's hands. Ugh. Six mana is a lot. Six mana is a lot. This is not the uh, card from Mycoria that cycles for one. No. Return up to two creatures to their owner's hands not bad. Um, I really would rather play another tempo card because this is six mana, not a tempo card. Yep. Um, if you're playing control, it's pretty good though. Yeah. And I'm gonna play every one of these that I get in uh, sealed, and I'm probably gonna splash for it. I can see that. Uh, no constructor though. Mm -hmm. Too too expensive. Hey, rewind! You're back. Two colors, blue blue, instinct, uncommon, counter target spell. Wait, there's more. Untap up to four lands. Yup. Card's good and sealed. If you really want to mess with your opponent, untap their lands and say just go ahead, try again. <laughs> 
That's funny. Uh, probably going to see constructed play uh, standard, I mean. Um, and definitely going to see brawl play. I'm going to play it in some capacity in limited. Yep. That's basically all I can say about that. Um, not an overly powerful card, but again, it depends on the format and how it shakes out. Creatures are getting better, man. Uh, in limited. So, counter spells are good when that happens. We'll see. Usually, counter spells aren't great in limited, but this one might be. Riddle form, colorless and a blue for an enchantment. Whenever you cast a non creature spell, you may have Riddle form become a 3 3 Sphinx. Creature with flying, in addition to its other types in the line of turn, you can pay two and a blue to scry a one. I it's love this card. In limited, I love this card. Yeah, so I'm not, I'm not actually sure if this one's going to be good. So uh, it's kind of a riddle. Yeah, I love casting the uh, tap down, tap two of your things, frost breath. Yeah. With this, like super tempo, right? Like this, this plus your red um, dude that gets bigger for spells or whatever, uh, getting in for two turns, and then you get to scry if you don't have anything, any counter spells or anything like that. This this card's going to be really good in limited. Oh, yeah, and this is going to blow some people out on the other end uh, for, like, defense stuff, too. Yep, no sorcery speed removal is very good. Uh, you do have to be careful. Wait, is this a... It is a May ability, so make sure that you don't turn it on if you don't have to. Yep. And it can die to sorcery if you, like, block one of their creatures on their turn. Right, that's you know, what they, I mean. They attack, yeah. you do something... You make it a dude, you block, and then in their second main phase, they can kill it with sorcery. Yep. So just play smart with this card. It's very good. Um, it was very good the last time it was uh, available. Yeah. Uh, probably going to see some brawl play, but that's about it. Yeah. Roaming Ghostlight. Three blue blue for a 3-2 spirit flying. When it enters the battlefield, return up to one target non-spirit -cre creature to its owner's hand, and it's a common. 3-2 flyer with upside for 5 mana. Okay. Yep. This is a blue flyer for your blue limited deck. So yeah. I was going to say blue white flyers, but no, you can play this pretty much anywhere. Yeah. It's uh, very tempo -y, very... We just talked about Mana War with the rare. Um, this card's great. Yeah. Common Mana Wars have traditionally been very good. This... Uh, up to 5 mana. Yeah. This spirit is not the one that's going to see any constructed play. No. But there is one. It's coming up. Rookie mistake. One blue mana. It's an instant. Until end of turn, target creature gets plus zero, plus two, and other target creature gets minus two. Minus. Oh. Yep. I mean, it's a weird blue combat trick. Mm-hmm. I don't like this card at all. I might play it in my spells deck if I really need more instants, but... Yep. Uh, not a big fan of this yeah, card. Yeah, it's going to be a weird instance where I play this. You mean like a rookie mistake? Yes. Yeah, I think it's a rookie mistake to play this card. Yep. Um, there are some times where it'll be right, but nah. Rousing Reed. Two colorless and a blue. Enchantment Aura. Enchant Creature. When it, this thing enters the battlefield, draw two cards, then discard a card. Enchanted Creature gets plus one, plus one, and has flying. This one I don't hate. No. This is exactly what I meant by an aura that replaces itself. Uh, or does something really, really effective. Um, this does both. Yep. You're still going to get it blown out by instant speed removal, but that's true most of the time. But you drew two. Oh, yeah, you're right. So if this lands, it's very good. Yep. Yep. Uh, don't play in construction. Also, giving evasion is big. Yep. Sanctum of Calm Waters. Three and a blue. Legendary Enchantment Shrine. At the beginning of your pre-combat main phase, you may draw X cards where X is the number of shrines you control. If you do, discard a card. Don't play this in limited. This is a constructed card. Yep. I might play it in a very, very, like, I'll board it in a, in a controlled matchup. I don't even know if I'll play it in sealed. I might. Ugh. There's a lot of, like, random shrine tribal. Yeah. This is pretty good in uh, constructed and someone's going to build it and blow me out of the water in limited once. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, you know, if you're watching this on YouTube or whatever, uh, send me a send me a pic of how you broke these cards in, in limited. I'm going to build a deck in historic, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and obviously this is going to see a lot of commander play.
See the truth. One colorless and a blue. Sorcery. It's a rare. Look at the top three cards of your library. Pull one of those cards into your hand and the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. If this spell was cast from anywhere other than your hand, put each of those cards into your hand instead. Hey, look. It's like almost Ancestral Recall. Yeah. Um, this card's fine in draft. I mean, in, uh, in limited. I guess... Constructed with Chandra, yeah, I mean... What? No, constructed with Snapcaster Mage. Yeah, Snapcaster Mage is pretty cute. Golos. I'm probably not going to play this kind of effect unless someone really breaks it, but... Oh god. Underworld Breach. Uh, yeah. It's pretty good. Draw all the cards. Yeah, see, that's exactly what I meant. Um, yeah, this does combo pretty well with Underworld Breach. You do have to find a way to get cards in your graveyard, but... Yeah, this is pretty good. Yeah, it would have been significantly better if it was an instant. Yeah. Of course. But I say that a lot. Yeah, I don't tend to play Sorcery Speed Anticipates in draft, though. You know, Ancestral Recall is an instant. Sure is. Our set doesn't turn it off. True. Shacklegeist. Colors in a blue for a Spirit 2-2. Two -two. Flying, Shacklegeist can only block creatures with flying. Tap on two tap spirits you control, tap target creature you don't control. Pioneer. Yeah. Modern. Modern spirits is kind of a thing. Yeah, but modern spirits is a little bit better than Pioneer. I, I definitely think this is going to see some Pioneer play. Modern, I don't know. Well, you, you get vile in modern. True. Um, oh, This card is also very good in limited, by yeah. the way. <laughs> 2-2 two, two for 2, flying. Might tap a thing down. Yeah. It's pretty good. Uh, just a 2-2 two, two for 2 with flying is good. Yeah. Shipwreck Dowser. 3 colors, blue blue, merfolk wizard. It's an uncommon. It's a 3-3. Three, three. It has prowess. When it is a battlefield, return target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard to your hand. Yeah. It feeds itself. This card's pretty good. This card's pretty good. Uh, this is obviously for the blue-red um, spells deck in limited. Probably not going to see much play other than that. Yeah, but that's, that's a good way to spell yeah. it out. Yep, yep. Uh, I don't see much of a threat for constructed, but it... We have that 7-drop that sees play in, like, reanimate every once in a while. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, it might, but it, it would surprise me. Yeah. That's from M20, so that one's rotating. I don't know. I doubt this is playing constructive, but it's pretty good in uh, limited. Yep. Spined Megalodon, 5 blue blue for a 5 7 shark with X proof. Whenever it attacks, scry 1. Dear God, if you can land this in draft, I don't see you losing. Grandpa shark doo 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 doo. <laughs> um, this is a weird card for me for limited sake. Um, it's seven mana. If you can get to seven mana, this thing is so powerful. Oh yeah. Um, but I have a feeling they were they weren't afraid to print this because it's difficult to get to seven mana. Yep. That's kind of my thought. Like, there's not a lot of ramp here in, in this set, except for that one mythic. But we'll get to that later. Um, and you have to be at seven mana anyway with that. Like, so yeah. I, it... <laughs> no, constructed play. It I, so... I don't I don't see this seeing constructed play because there's already a seven mana shark that's better. It doesn't have hexproof. Yeah, but but it, it cycles. So <laughs> you, you just cycle it and make a four four or a five five. Five five. Yeah, someone always tries to build some sort of boggles when we get something like this. Uh, go for it. Yeah, it, I mean, if you get it to work, it will boggle my mind. Yeah. Okay, Storm Wing Entity. Three colors, blue and another blue. Gets you an elemental. Oh boy. It's a 3-3. Three, three. It's a rare. It has flying. It has prowess. When it enters the battlefield, scry two. Wow, that's all pretty good. But it gets better. This spell costs two colors and a blue less to cast if you've cast an instant or sorcery spell this turn. What? This oh, isn't Delver. Okay. No, I'm looking forward to going... Probe Lotus this. Go. Oh, gross. Um, yeah, a limited. This card's amazing. Yeah. This card's so good. Um, so, so good. Like, if, if you can 
on turn five or whatever, kill their thing, play this. Oh, yeah. Oh, gross. The, the tempo you gain there. Oh. Or, like, tap down their things, play this, tack in. Oh, it's so good. Um, this is going to see constructed play. Yeah. This is going... This is... Is it Drake's? This is uh, very good in Brawl. It's probably going to see some commander play, even. Like, I don't e- I don't know. This card's good. Yeah. Good ETB. Yeah. Gets bigger. Yeah, I mean... This card's real good. Yeah. You can cast this thing on turn two in standard. You can? Probably. Arboreal Grazer exists. You sure can. Yep. That's gross. Uh, yeah, we're going to see this card a lot, and definitely, I would absolutely slam pack one, pick one this. Yep, Grazer opt. Yep. That's not even that hard to do. Ugh, gross. Yeah, this card's amazing. Oh, yeah, this only costs two. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely going to see a lot of this. Get ready to see it. Slam it in command, uh, in uh, draft. Oh, Adventure man. that adds mana for green. Oh, gross. Yeah, that too. Oh, that just does it. Yeah. Oh, wow. So, maybe um, the Teamer Adventures deck. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know. Interesting. Sublime Epiphany. Four blue, blue, instant. Uh, text box says, does it all. It sure does. It slices, it dices, choose one or more counter target spell, counter target activated or trigger ability, return target non land permanent to its owner's hand, create a token that's a copy of target creature you control, target player draws a card. Oh no, this is much more than commander card. This is also a limited card. Oh yeah. Um, cryptic command, this is not. Um, no. So for modern or whatever, we're not going to see it. But yeah, six is like three times more than four. Yeah, um, <laughs> definitely going to see a lot of commander play. Like Back Squatch is saying, definitely going to see a lot of brawl. Uh, I'm going to play it in standard, probably, probably not supposed to, but I'm going to because it's awesome. Yeah. And if you open this in limited, oh my god, the blowouts. Oh. And someone send me a pic of you blowing somebody out and getting all of it. Oh, yeah. I don't care what format it is. I want to see it. Yeah. Especially if the token you create is a copy of Snapcaster Mage and you have enough <sighs> mana for some reason to do it again. I mean, that's definitely going to happen in Commander. Gross. Uh, yeah, I'm super excited about this card. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, moving yeah. on. This I'm, card's awesome. I'm pretty sure this will see some standard play. Maybe it's like a one to two of them team or rec. Yeah, this, this card's going to be a couple bucks I'm, just because of Commander. I'm not going to say it's going to be good in team or rec. I'm going to say somebody's going to do it. Yeah. Me. Yeah, that's how, that's how I know. <laughs> also, that art is just creepy. It's and so awesome cool. And... It is creepy. Ugh, I love it. Good job. Oh, I Lindsay. get it. She's a dollhouse. Something like that. With the latch on the ear. Oh yeah, so good. I don't understand the water and the doves, but you don't need to. It's sublime. Yeah. I'm pretty Tef- sure that when I understand it, I'll have an epiphany. <laughs> All right, here we go. To fairy, master of time, master of this set, master, master, master. Two colors, blue, blue, gets you a Teferi Legendary Planeswalker. It's a mythic, of course. It has three loyalty, plus one, draw a card, then discard a card. So loot. Minus three, target creature you don't control phases out. And yeah, I'm also curious why they put phase in a core set, but you know, that's fine. So basically treat it and anything attached to it as though they don't exist until the controller next end, or next turn, sorry. And then minus 10, take two extra turns after this one. Well, you're like, hmm, that's okay. Yeah, until you read this bit, you may activate loyalty abilities of Teferi Master of Time on any player's turn anytime you could cast an instant. Gross. Yeah, it's pretty okay. This card's real good. Real good. Busted and limited. Really good in, uh, in standard and uh, brawl. Yeah. Commander, probably. This card's real good. I mean, I'm not going to be playing in Commander, but somebody's going to. Oh, yeah. Um, and no, this does not mean you can activate it on your turn, pass the turn, and activate it on their turn. It still only activates once. Yeah, not a whole lot to be left to be said on this. Yep. Yep, Back Squatch just asked that question. Yep, that's exactly... It, it only d- does it once. This isn't the first time we've seen this type of ability... Um, though it wasn't on a static, it was like it's ultimatum or something like that. But yeah, this card's very good. Yeah. 
Okay, moving on. Yep. Teferi, Master of Time again. Different art. Two blue, blue, legendary planeswalker Teferi. Three mana, plus one, or sorry, three mana, three loyalty, plus one. Draw a card, then discard a card. Minus three target creature you don't control phases out. Minus ten, take two extra turns after this one, and you may activate loyalty, loyalty abilities of Teferi, Master of Time, on any player's turn, anytime you could cast an instant. Oh my, is this card really good? Yeah. I think we've seen this somewhere. Before. Yeah, I'm getting a little deja vu. It's weird. But yeah, uh, plus one to loot. Going to see play pretty much everywhere in Constructed. Uh, and uh, and Limited is amazing. Yeah. Okay, cool. Teferi Mass... No, I'm, not, I'm just kidding. We're not going to do this. <laughs> but, but we are going to show you all the arts. But yeah, so there are all kinds of arts here. There's, what, nine of these stinking things. Um, they are all pretty awesome. That one's cool. No, not really sure why they did this, but um, I guess it's just to piss off collectors. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Cool. Teferi's Ageless Insight. Two colors, blue, blue, gets you a legendary enchantment. It's a rare. If you do, if you would draw a card, except for the first one you draw, in each of your draw steps, draw two cards instead. checking to make sure this isn't one of those things it's not okay so yeah this is actually in the set um eh. i don't i'm not a huge fan of do nothing enchantments um in limited yeah so you play this on turn four best case scenario right or turn three even if best 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 case scenario and uh it does very little so yeah i don't think i'll play this in limited at all what do you think about constructed uh, I'm gonna love this in constructed, and I'm I'm not saying it's good, but I'm just saying that ancestral recall then draws six cards and that's pretty okay. And <laughs> like, I'm gonna play this in some weird grindy decks and some weird, uh, um, like combo decks and just decks. It's okay if you get to fairy pack one. Yeah, I guess that's that's accurate. Um. Yeah, this really feels like a brawl card for me. Yep. And that's pretty much all I think is it's going to see play in. Teferi's Protégé. Two colors and a blue. It's a human wizard. It's a common. It's a 2-3. It has the ability of one colors and a blue. Tap it, draw a card, and then discard a card. It's yet, a looter. Yet another looter. Uh, enables the blue-green uh, draw card synergies. Um, yeah, that's all I can say about this card. Yeah. Not going to see play in Constructed, but yeah, it's fine in Limited. Yep. Teferi's Tutelage, two and a blue enchantment. When it enters the battlefield, draw a card, then discard a card. Whenever you draw a card, target opponent mills two cards. Well, if you like Standard, you're going to get used to seeing this card. Oh, yeah. Um, pretty good in Limited. Uh, I'm going to take it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, this is just going to win you some games. Um, yeah. Yeah, it, it, it even does something. Like, this is not a do-nothing enchantment. Like, you loot, and then you get the trigger right away, and it starts milling them. This, game, this card will end games real quick in limited. God forbid you get two of these. Yeah. In limited? Oh, my God. Um, yeah, and this is going to be all over standard. All over, and probably historic. I, other than that, I doubt it, but... Oh, boy. Uh, there's a combo with this inside limited. So it's not often that they give us a, a combo in limited, though it's going to be difficult to pull off. But we'll get to that when we get to it. It's a black card. All right, moving on. Teferi's Wave Caster. Three colors, blue, blue, merfolk, wizard. It's a rare, sort of. It's a 3-3. Three, three. It has flash. When it enters the battlefield, you may search your library or and or graveyard for a card name. Teferi, Timeless Voyager, reveal it and put it in your hand. If you do, shuffle your library. Uh, this is a dual deck, or a Planeswalker deck, whatever they're called now, card. So kind of a rare, kind of not. <laughs> um, not going to see any play whatsoever. Moving on. Teferi, Timeless Voyager. Four blue blue. This is a Planeswalker deck card. Legendary Planeswalker, Teferi, it's a mythic has four loyalty plus one draw a card minus three put target creature on top of its owner's library and minus eight 
Each creature target opponent controls phases out until on the end of your next turn they can't phase in. This card's horrible. Yeah. Okay. Man, am I never buying these. I mean, I wasn't going to buy these Planeswalker decks anyway, but good lord, these are bad. Um, he looks weird in this picture. Yeah. Huh. All right. Yeah, this isn't going to see any play either. Moving on. Tide Skimmer. Three colors and a blue. Gets you a Drake. It's an uncommon. It's 2-3. It has flying. Whenever you attack with two or more creatures with flying, draw a card. Yeah, this card's very good in limited. Yeah. This card is not good in constructed. No. Look how look at this amazing uh, insight you guys are getting. You yeah, know this card's great in limited. Uh, it will find you large schools of fish. Indeed, it will. I will probably pack one, pick one. This I'm not gonna be happy about it, but I'm probably gonna do it. Oh, uh, I'll, I'll be happy about it. Not like jumping up around the table, calling judges over to look and all that. But how is this not a dinosaur? Right. Yeah, whatever. Cool. This card's good in limited. Also, Drake's... It, yeah, never mind. Drake is correct. Tolarian Kraken. Four blue blue for a four six uncommon. Creature type Kraken. Whenever you draw a card, you may pay a uh, colorless. Or, sorry, a generic. When you do, you may tap or untap target creature. This card seems pretty good. How many, how many times and how many ways can they destroy the Tolarian Academy? <laughs> it's... it's, it's Time is infinite. Um, yeah, this card's good and limited, I think. Uh, we're, it, again, we're going to, with these six and seven mana cards, we're just going to have to see how the format plays out, what ends up being the good decks and whatnot, but I'm pretty sure this card's going to be pretty good. Yeah. Not, uh, not something I want to pack one, pick one, though. And no threat of two constructed. Oh, God, no. Tome Anima? Anima? Anima. That's a much better word. Okay, three colors and a blue. It's a spirit. 3-3. Three, three. Common. Can't be blocked as long as you've drawn two or more cards this turn. I have a feeling that this is... Oh, it's not. Hmm. This it's is a neat. real card? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Draft it. Yeah, this card's good. 3-3 three, three unblockable is rough. Yeah. That's hard to deal with. Uh, no constructed, though. Oh, um, also... After doing some more research, we were wrong uh, about Teferi. What? Yeah, you can do it on your turn and their turn. No way. Yeah. Oh, that makes that card way better. Yeah. I think I may have played some Commander games wrong. I'm not sure if it's just him that do it. Like, the other ones might not work that way, but that, that one does. Weird. Yeah, I didn't actually check the uh, rules on that. I just assumed... Uh, I didn't assume. That's how we played it back when the last Teferi was in Commander and all that stuff, but yeah. Alright. Yeah. Cool, I guess. I, yeah. Yeah, or a plus on your turn, then plus on their turn. Seems pretty good to me. I mean, I guess that's why it's uh, it's uh, ultimate is minus 10. Yeah. Uh, okay. Unsubstantiate. One colorless and a blue. Instant. Uncommon. Return target spell or creature to its owner's hand. Already uh, sees constructed play, I so love this. yeah. Nicely done, Jace. You always were good at disappointing, disappearing acts. Also uh, disappointing acts. Aha, uh -huh, that's funny. Yeah, uh, this card's good in limited. It's good. Already sees modern play. I would like to hear the story behind the flavor text. That sound like that sounds like an unsubstantiated accusation. <laughs> Burn. Yeah, play this card. Awesome. It's good. I don't think this will be worth money, but if you look in the art, there is a dollar sign. <laughs> Not funny. Vodalian? Sure. Vodalian Arcanist. Colors in blue for a merfolk wizard. It's 1-3 common. Taps to add a generic. Spend this mana... On, or Sorry, taps for a colorless. Spend this mana only to cast an instant or sorcery spell. Yeah, that's a card. Yeah. You might see Brawl play... You're going to play it in limited, but you're not happy about it. Nope. That's it. One through with upside. Yep. I mean, if you have a lot of instances, this is a lot better. But oh, yeah. I, I, I hesitate to call this ramp. Yeah. In limited. Yeah. Yeah. Waker of Waves. Five colors. Blue, blue. Here's another stinking seven drop. It's a whale. It's an uncommon. It's a seven, seven. Creatures your opponents control get minus one, minus zero. Oh. Okay. 
One colorless and a blue. Discard this thing. So this is an ability while it's in your hand. Yep. Look at the top two cards of your library. Pull one of them into your hand and the other into your graveyard. Well, that ability kind of makes this card fine. Yeah. Unfortunately, it doesn't draw a card to trigger the things, which I find is strange. Yeah, but I mean, it's it's better cycling. Yeah, like this seven drop I can get behind, right? Because yeah, it does something. If in you draw it early, it's fine. And if you're doing something like reanimatory, oh, oh, gross. Yeah, yeah. So this actually, yeah, this might see some some constructive play. I still doubt it, but it might. And I think the next card is the card I've been waiting for. Oh, uh, no threat to construct it unless the discard ability is really good. Oh no. Wall of Runes, yeah, this is yeah. super impressive. Blue for a 0-4 wall defender when it enters the battlefield, scry one. I mean, boy, against that aggro decks. A reprint. We had this before in War of the Spark, and it was meh. Yeah. It's still meh. Meh. There it is, Wishcoin Crab. Right. Three and a blue. 2-5 Crab. What wishes do they grant? Mostly pinching-related ones. <laughs> ah. my favorite card in the set. Just for the flavor text. That might be one of my favorite flavor texts of all time. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, board this in. Yeah. If you want to get pinched. Yeah. That's it. I wouldn't main deck this. No. Four mana for a two five is pretty good on the defense. All right. That's the end of blue. Uh, I really hope this uh, helps. Make sure you check out the next color. Uh, next color, which will be black. Thanks for watching, and remember to stay safe out there.